Guys, my name is Eddie. I'm the owner and founder of Harlem Bling. As many of you guys know, we bought Moissanite to the mass market. There was companies before us, Charles and Colvard, for instance, and they're still there selling one carat stones for $3,000. But we bought it to the masses, where not only rappers and celebrities can afford it. These stones are now affordable by everybody. What am I going to talk in this video? We're going to discuss trends, Google Trends, how it's a great tool to analyze things, to analyze prices, and make very informed predictions. All the prices, whether it's food, gas, real estate, or jewelry, depends greatly on supply and demand. Let's take the price of gas, for instance. When COVID started, a few months after, there was a lockdown. Nobody could leave. Nobody would travel. What happened? The oil prices and following the gasoline prices plummeted. They actually hit negative territory. But what did the gas companies do? The oil, OPEC, the guys drilling the oil from the ground, they stopped production. They weren't going to keep digging out oil from the ground to lose money, so they stopped their factories. What happened? A few years later, oil spiked. Gasoline is eight, ten dollars in certain parts of the country now. And then it's gonna level out until there's another huge thing, and then it's gonna keep going up. The long term, it's gonna keep going up because the supply is limited and the demand will always be there, unless there's gonna be more electric cars and that's a whole different conversation. What are we going to talk about here, though, is jewelry. We use a tool called Google Trends to do a lot of analytics. It's actually a very interesting tool. All of you guys can use it at home. You can look up your celebrity, for instance, how, I don't know, Kodak Black, his interest soared right now, and I'm sure it's going to plummet, or some other rapper while, I don't know, Biggie Smalls has constant interest. You can compare... It's a very interesting tool. For instance, let's take Donald Trump. Nobody knew about the guy. He started running for the first elections. His interest spiked. Then he was sitting there in the White House talking some bullshit. I guess this is every time he said something stupid, maybe the interest spiked. Then the second re-election, the interest spiked again. People started talking about him. Nobody cares. Now he's saying other stupid stuff, so he's getting some more interest. We're not going to talk about Trump. We're going to talk about Moissanite. This is the trend for Moissanite jewelry across America. As you can see, it has been growing. It doubled in the last year. Google predicts it's going to go up even more. People really are interested in Moissanite jewelry. Compare this to diamond jewelry. This is the search term diamond jewelry. And those... Those spikes actually right before the holidays. These are December every year. People care about it in December when they have to buy gifts. Every year, the interest is lower and lower and lower. And this year, it looks like there's no spike. Look at Moissanite. This is all I need to know. This is also a very interesting charge. This is the search term for what is Moissanite across the globe. There was no interest 10 years ago. The interest times 10. USA, Canada are the countries that searched us the most. Number three, South Africa. Very interesting to me. Very, very interesting. Why is South Africa, a country that has a very low population, up there with US? China has 20 times as many people as South Africa. The reason, in my opinion, is, and comment below, is that's where those greedy dealers are. Sitting in their chair, exploiting the people. And they're, they're scared. They're scared because they know that this stone is going to take over their business. They're scared. They know that in another 10 years, this interest will plummet even more. This is going to be over here for what for natural diamond. And moissanite is going to be over here. 
they know that a company like me is going to take over companies that have been in existence for a hundred years because people are starting to learn the truth. People are starting to see that this stone that passes the tester looks no different in jewelry than a natural diamond. People are starting, educated people are starting to know that. But what will happen when more and more people will know this? When the rappers are going to actually come out and say they're wearing moist on a jewelry. Right now, the rappers, the celebrities, the football players, we had a few that were honest. But most of them are still trying to pretend like it's diamonds going around testing it. It's really moistened. What's going to happen is the demand will go up significantly. The princess in Dubai, the million, the billionaires in China, the Russian oligarchs will be smart with their money. Why would they buy stupid diamond jewelry when they can buy this and then get a yacht on top of it or get a submarine? Why? So when that happens, the demand will not be able to catch up. And what will happen then? The price of these stones will double and then it will triple and then it will quadruple. And then at some point, it will reach diamond prices. Will it hit the same level? Probably not. A one carat moissanite that's right now, we're selling these loose one carat moissanite stones for like 25 bucks. It's gonna maybe get to 200. A natural diamond will fall to 230, 240. Yes, there's still more limited natural diamonds in the world. And depending on how stupid humankind is, Maybe it still will be a little bit higher, but it will be really close. Guys, again, check out Google Trends. Very interesting analytics. It's macro analytics because there's millions, billions of people on Google Trends. We can analyze our customers. We have a customer base of about 150,000 people. But this lets us analyze a billion people. And when you analyze a billion people, that becomes the truth.